Okay, hello, welcome to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, it is free. And also, if you are watching for the first time, I'm a regular punter, I like a gamble. I'm not affiliated to any online casinos. And I look to try and build a balance every time I play, which pretty much most people do. Um, I've developed my own roulette tools. You can see most of them displayed on screen now. Um, if you want to gain access to any of my roulette tools, including the free roulette tools, head over to my website. The website will be listed in the description. If you click on the description to expand, expand it on YouTube underneath the video, at the bottom of that you'll see a website. It'll be a roulette wheel that you click on, then it takes you through to the site. Um, that's where you can gain access to um, my tools and other things as well. So make sure you check that, that out when you get time. Um, and help support my channel that way, I suppose. But yeah, um, let's get into it. So I'm going to be using uh, the missing section roulette tool on this setup. And I'm going to be betting... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to be betting on uh, 17 different bets. So 17 bets in total, not different. Some of them are the same. They, say, they pay the same amount. But the 17 bets I want to tick off on a list, uh, which is what you're going to see. Once I get rid of this screen now, so I'll bring it into the casino. You can see how much my balance is at in the bottom left. 46.20, that's what I left off with on the previous upload that I did doing this exact setup. But I used a different roulette tool. This one I'm using the missing section roulette tool now. So I'm looking to tick off each of these in any order, no particular order. And I'm going to tick them all off. That's the plan on this recording. So I've got a balance of 46.20 to try and help me achieve that. So these bets here, the even money shots, low, even, red, black, odd and high, they are going to be... I'm going to spend 10 pence on those because I only want to make 10 pence profit on those because these are the ones that are going to be the most troublesome to hit. Now, you would think that these would be the easiest ones to hit out of all the bets I'm going to be doing. These are the most difficult because um, it's just how it is with roulette. The more numbers you cover, the worse it is typically. If I cover like a six line street corner splitting a straight up, I'd find them much easier to hit than any of these above it, which is not in it to think about it, but there you go. So what do we do? We click on the click to play. And then we import numbers from the history from right to left. So 27, 35, 35, 19. So 27, 35, 35, 19. As I'm inputting these numbers, you'll see um, dozens and rows start to highlight. Like the, you know, on the outside bets as well. The even money bets. Uh, so 0 was the last number that I input. Then it hit 7. So when I click 7, it's going to get rid of these highlighted numbers because that's now hit. Um, 11 was the next. Then it was 21, that's just gone off now. And then we've got 27, number one and four. Watch the even when I click four, that goes back to zero. Basically what this tool does, it counts how many misses in a row an even money shot has missed for a dozen in a row. And it highlights if it gets to a value of six, which I can change as and when I please, so I, can, I can drop this down, let's go down to 4 so you can see the second dozen highlight. So I'm going to click the minus, take it down to 4 and it highlighted the second dozen. Because that's not hit for 4 spins and that's the tracking value. I'm going to go back up to 6 because that's my preferred starting amount for the dozens and the rows and the outside bet, and the even money bet. Um, the numbers to the right of all the numbers in grey, that, that's the count of misses in a row since your last hit. You've got the last number that dropped in here, number 26, now it's number 20. And you've got the spin count here, so I've input 14 spins so far. Um, you've also got a tracking value for the individual numbers. So one, well, 0 through to 36, with all these grey numbers to the side of those numbers. If they reach a value of 50 misses in a row, they will highlight with a yellow circle around them. That's what that value is for. So if you wanted to set a particular value for individual numbers missing, 
you can reduce this or increase it on the fly as you see fit basically so do whatever you want with that um there's no wrong way to bet at all if you can place a bet get into profit you're doing pretty good so i'm going to be placing a 20 pence bet on the dozens and the rows and i'll be placing um I'll be placing a uh, 10 pence bet on the even money shots. So 12. So waiting for something to highlight. Um, so you've got section numbers here 1 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, and 30 to 36. So the value of thir on 30 to 36 is approaching 14. 14, it's going to highlight blue. And 15 is going to highlight blue. So 14 misses and 15 misses. The section numbers will all highlight whichever one's missed for 14 or 15 spins in a row. And then on the 16th spin, if it's missing for 16, it goes grey like it's showing now on the 13. It'll go grey, it'll go off, and then it'll come back on at 22 spins. It'll highlight again at 22. Right, so I'm going to bet on the, the 30 to 36. I'm going to do the split. I'm going to do the split bet. I'm going to do 20 pence. I'm also going to include the 29 because it keeps it even then. Um, so I've got 29 to 36 covered. I'm betting that because 30 to 36 has yet to hit. So this is my first bet. I'm doing the split bet. If this wins, I can tick the split bet off as being a win. Then we can forget about that and move on to other bets. So 29 to 36. 26 that is a miss but that was a manipulated spin this table is on manipulation mode today repeat the same bet at the same stake i do not need to increase the stake because even if i hit now i'll get into profit my starting amount was 46.20 this is my second bet for 30, 29 to 36 doing the split bet I could have done the straight ups on this. That could be another option that I could have done, but I chose I chose to do the uh, the split. Number five is a miss. It's another miss. So it's gone off now. You see, so forget about that until uh, we get another opportunity on that that bet. So if it doesn't hit thirty to thirty six for another six spins, taking it to twenty two spins. Um, without a hit then that's when it'll start highlighting blue again when it gets to a value of 22 and that's when i'll play the inside game on the straight ups instead of the splits i was already doing the inside game on the splits but i'll be i'll be switching to straight ups if this reaches 22 without a hit number 19 all right so just waiting for another opportunity I'm taking my time, I'm not rushing into things. It's very easy to rush into the gameplay and make huge mistakes. We don't want to be doing that. Let me just, I've just got to update my um, sub count here on the screen, top right. My subscription counts it a bit higher now. 27. 27. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm actually going to go bet on that same area again here. I'm going to jump in straight away. The reason I'm jumping in now is because 34 might hit from that 27. So, these are the straight up bets now. So, I've jumped in on this a little bit earlier because of the 27. The only reason I've done that is because 27 likes to go to 34, or it likes to go close to 27, so it could hit 36. So, I'm on 30 to 36, hoping for the 34 to hit, the 30 or the 36. No, nope, 23, but it was two pockets away. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep betting on this now these straight ups and every time I miss I'm going to add a chip a 10 pence chip so I'm now focused on this these set of numbers for my straight ups to come in I know it's not hit for 19 spins now 
betting on an area that's not hit for a long time can be detrimental to your bankroll because it can keep missing for another 19 spins easily, very easily. So be careful that you don't stay out there for too long. See, that, that should have been a hit. For me, that was, that, that was an obvious hit for me. I'm repeating the bet. Now that's not a hit. We've got a dealer change. So we could hit the 32 here or the 35. So I'm going to put a little bit extra on the 32 and the 35. So I've just increased the stakes on the 32 and 35 because of the, the dealer change could be zero neighbors. And if it hits 35 or 32, that's jackpot. So 30 to 36 is still the bet. 29, bloody typical. It's as close as it can get to my number without hitting it. That's what it's doing. This is what this game does. Um, it's really frustrating and really annoying. Really annoying. So I've got 80 pence on each number. Now I'm down at 31.90. So I really hope this is going to hit any minute now. So I shouldn't really be betting on it until 22 spins without a hit. And it's on 21, so... Anyway, it's 30 to 36. <clears throat> there you go. There's my hit. So I jumped in pretty much at the right time. That's given me... I've got a balance of £60 now after hitting that. So that's the straight up done. But that was... You know... I got it because I persisted a little bit getting it. Um, I started off with a small stake, so... I could afford to do the progressions, slight progressions each round and add a little bits of extra units on numbers that I thought might have hit. Um, might have hit, you know, when um, I managed to get that 33. I would have thought it was zero neighbours, to be fair. Uh, 29's hit again. Right, bottom row, here we go. 20 pence, bottom row. Let's go. So this... This now, I'm going to give it four bets for the bottom roll to hit. Four bets for the bottom roll to hit. So any bottom roll number, get 40 pence profit, which I'll take. All day, thank you very much. 20 is not a bottom run, but one is. But that was a, um, a bit of an odd spin. Repeat the bet, double up. So every time I lose, I'm repeating the bet. I'm not doubling up, although I did do on that spin. Um, I'm just adding another chip of the same stake. So my, my unit is 20 cents or 20 pence. I'm adding an extra unit every time I lose. So repeat the bet. Add a unit, repeat the bet, add a unit, repeat the bet, add a unit. I do it four, four bets. This is my second bet out of four. 17's a miss. That's the that area there. I'll repeat the bet, add a chip. This is my third bet. I only give it four bets. That's it on the dozens and the rolls. Because if you give it any more, you've got to give it extra, extra um, cash to try and collect on that win. And then if you don't win when you're giving it more money, it can be detrimental hugely to your gameplay because you'll lose track. You may lose track of how much you're supposed to be putting out there, and uh, before you know it, you're in, you know, for a lot of money, just to make a little bit of money. So here we go. So bottom roll to hit. Come on, seven, twenty-two. There we go. There's the hit. Twenty-two is a win. I'm gonna switch my bet now to the reds i'm going to do the reds now uh, which is oops no not 20 pence 10 pence because it's an even money shot no, i'm not going to go any more than 10 pence on these these bets here 10 pence start because these can go on a bit of a losing run without a shadow of doubt these will do that so don't fall into the trap look how many numbers i'm covering now I'm covering 18 numbers to miss on and that's a miss look <laughs> telling you see what it's like it's ridiculous i am covering 18 numbers and not hitting what the fuck
I would expect to hit every other spin on this setup covering this amount of numbers without a shadow of doubt. If that's not happening, that's a bad bet, especially for the type of returns you're getting. It's a real bad bet. The worst bad, it's the worst bet you can do, in my opinion, anyway, that's for sure. So this is a double up, and we're doing the Martingale until I hit. Hey, there's my hit, thank goodness for that. So the sooner I get rid of these, these, these um, even money bets, the better. So this is a two to one shot, I'm on the first dozen. That's my next bet, first dozen, because it's on a value of eight misses. And I'm, you'll notice I'm only sticking to one bet type at a time, which is the key here for this setup. If you put more than one bet out there to try and tick off more uh, of these bet types, that's when it goes massively wrong. I've done it too many times like that. There's number two. That's a win. Boom. First one hit. Sweet. Um, too many times I've done like lows first dozen even red and i've only hit one then i'm i'm having to double up on the red and the even and then add an extra chip on the first dozen and if your bankroll can't support what you're doing you're going to be that your bankroll is just going to dip real fast especially if you're on a losing run as well so don't do that the best way of using this setup is to um just concentrate on one bet at a time because if you bet on one bet at a time, you're giving yourself um, enough ammunition, enough chances at trying to hit that one single bet. Your balance, your bankroll is not de depleting by too much, and it's you know you've got you know just play it like that. It's it's much better than covering every sin and trying to get them all hitting at the same time it's just not it's not worth it i've done it too many times and lost too many times doing it that way it just does not work so if the casinos are going to take your money don't let them take all your money in one hit drip feed the casino your money if you're going to give your money to the casino drip drip feed the casino your money so make it difficult for the casino to take all your money in one hit basically so Reduce how much you bet out there. Anyways, bottom row, I've already had a hit on that. So it's going to highlight. So what I'll do, um, I'm not going to do the bottom row. I could do um, the, six, the, the, the splits in the bottom row, actually. I could do that. Uh, let's go 19, 22, 7 and 10. Oh, 19, 22. I'm on the split here. I'm on 19 and 22 because those two numbers have been out recently. 22 has been out six spins ago and 19 has been out 15 spins ago. I was going to do the 7 and 10 as well. 19, 22, 7 and 10. 27 that's in it so i will do the splits in that um in this area seven and ten 27 we'll do the 13 that last i think we'll do i think that's a good bet so i'm doing the splits here so my jackpot numbers on this split bet are numbers 10 and 13 because they've got overlapping splits um so I'm doing the, the bottom row numbers because they've not hit for seven spins in a row. And then I'm using the split bet that I'm still looking to hit on uh, to try and get that hit. Ten, eight. Ooh, I tell you, I'm going to get my hit. This is going to hit. Uh, let me just have a quick look. Eight. Repeat the bet, I think. I'm going to include the 11 and the 8 again here. So these are splits, a bit, a few more splits, but my, my, the 10 is the jackpot here. I'm still on the splits, but I've included the um, the 11 and the 8. So 11 and 10 and 11 in my jackpot. 10, 11. 
34. I nearly did 34 as well. Because that was further away, so... Hmm. Right, so I'm going to forget about the splits. I've had a few a few quid on that. Didn't materialise. So I'll come back to that and revisit the splits another time. So we'll just wait for another opportunity. Um, I might increase the stake now because I lost on that split bet. Or what I could do if, if I come back and did the split bet, so go higher on the stakes on the splits the next time I come back to the splits. Instead of putting 20 pence on them, I'll put 30 pence or 40 pence, which is probably what I'm going to do. 34 back to 34, that's common. So second dozen, here we go. Second dozen is the bet. So it's highlighted that the second dozen's not hit for six spins. See if I can get a hit on this first spin. So 13 to 24. Might be 17. You never know. Number 10. There's my number 10. I wanted 10 before, funnily enough. All those numbers that have highlighted yellow uh, that read a value of 40 are to do with this 50 spins without a hit. Any single number that's not hit for 50 spins, the trigger is any number to hit that hasn't hit for 40 spins to 49 spins. So that's why it highlights yellow on the numbers that haven't hit for 40 or greater. This is my second bet. My second bet was a repeat and add a chip. So second bet from 13 to 24. That was number 10, the last number out. Second dozen, let's go. Seven. I was looking for 17. Repeat. Add a chip. This is my third bet. I'm only going to give it four bets on the dozen. Now, if I get a sniff of this table being a bit awkward, which it's already done briefly, if it's been really awkward, then I'm probably going to change tables. Although, instead of changing tables, I'll stop and I'll come back in a bit. And I'll continue the, the list. Second dozen, third bet, 13 to 24. Looking for 17. Or anything. 28. So it is scooting around a bit. Odd second dozen. I'm going to persist, persist with this. This is the final bet on the second dozen. If this misses the second dozen on this spin, then I can go back to the split bets um, on the 15, 18, 21, 24, which is highlighted as an intersection bet. An intersection bet is when you've got um, four numbers, the same set of numbers that I haven't hit on a dozen and a row that have met the um, the tracking value. So second dozen's met the tracking value, it's over it, and it's 15, 18, 21, 24, 26 is a miss. <clears throat> so now I'm going to do a split bet on these numbers. I'll, I'll cover the 27 and the 12, and I'll do it at 40 pence. So this is my split bet. I forgot about, we're forgetting about the second dozen now. It's all about the 12, 15, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and 27. The jackpots are 15, 18, 21, 24, and it's a 40 pence bet now. <coughs> so I'm looking to hit on one of these splits so I can tick that event off. And a little bit of luck. 15, 21, there you go. That's the jackpot. That's a jackpot number split hitting. Boom. Now I'm at £70 exactly. 21. Sweet. So I'll wait for another opportunity now. Wait for another opportunity. So I'm quite happy about that. Starting with 46.20. I'm at £70 on this recording. The previous recording I deposited £20 in this casino. I took it up to 46.20. So I'm at I made £26.20 on my first recording, covering, ticking off all the boxes. And this is going, let's dare I say it, okay at the minute. <clears throat> Jimmy. So, yeah. If you find that you're liking this content, give it a thumbs up. And if you've not already hit subscribe, hit that subscribe button. 
Um, this roulette tool is available to use from my website. Make sure you check out the link in the description below. You're best off getting to the link from my description. If you click on the description, expand it, go to the bottom, click the link, then um, we get to my site. There's 26. Bit, odd, bit of an odd spin that. So we've got low and the first dozen. I've already ticked off the first dozen, so I'm going to go with the low. And I'm only going to spend 10 pence on this because we know how these can operate. This 1 to 18, 18 numbers covered, can go missing for longer than a straight up. In some cases. Well, not no, not necessarily a straight up. It can go missing longer than a... Or as long as a dozen can go missing, let's say. That's a bit more accurate. So 1 to 18. First bet. Oh, look, it's missed. What a shame. But never in doubt that I was always going to miss because it's just how it is. <laughs> it's just how it is. It's ridiculous. I would have hit on a number either side of it. And that's going to be the same th when you cover the 1 to 18s or the highs. You know, the lows or the highs. Number either side would have hit. Which is really annoying. But this is now Martingale. A Martingale in this bet. So that's why I start really small. And I'm only looking to make 10 pence profit. I'm not bothered about making any more profit on a, on 18 numbers covered. I'm not really bothered about it. There's number one. There's the hit. So we'll take that. Thank you very much. So the next bet will be whatever is available next on the old... Um, missing section tool so i'm approaching 50 spins i've got to 48 spins on the tool here it reads 48 spins that's how much i've input so far the tracking value for numbers that I haven't hit for 50 spins in a row are going to start to highlight in yellow circles um once we get there so uh i'll be taking notes of those and using that as a leverage to uh, place bets out there on the table to try and catch those wins. So I'll be, I've got to still do a six line bet, a street and a corner. They're like the bigger bets. They're, they'll give me more of a return. These are like the money bets. These down here, these all these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five bets. They're your, that your, they're your money bets. These are just a little bit extra. That's like, these are just a waste of time, really, to be fair. But, uh, yeah. Drink tea. Right. Here we go. So, you can see all the yellow circles of the numbers that I have yet to hit. So, what I could do is a corner bet on quite a few of these. So, I could do 26 to 30, 32 to 36. Let's do that. And I'll do the 13, that one as well. So this is the corner bet I'm doing at 20 pence. Um, so the reason I've done that is because they've not hit. 13, 14, 16, 17. Three of those have not hit for 50 spins. And it's a similar distance around here. Nine, there you go, that's a 50. I've not hit. I didn't choose to do that bet. I'm going to repeat the same bet, same stake, on the same number, same set of numbers. 26 has been out recently, so that could hit again. Um, 27's hit fairly recently, that could hit again. 29 and 30. I wanted to cover the 30, basically, that's why I've done that. Um, and a number that had had been out recently to, for the 26. I could have done the 25, 26, 28, 29, or 22, 23, 25, 26. Any of those four would have been good. As a number that's been out recently, versus the ones that haven't been out recently. 17, there we go. There's my hit. Boom. So that is a win. Let's tick that corner box. Thank you very much. So I've got a six line and street to bet on uh, as well. So six line and a street. I can do the streets that have yet to hit like 13, 14, 15, and 31, 32. Um, And I could also do the ones that have been hitting. So a mixture of what hasn't and what has. There's the 30. 
Let's use what I was going to bet in on before. So let's just do some street bets. So I'm going to do this one, that one, 13, 14, 15. These are the numbers that I have yet to hit. And the numbers that are hitting are, let's say, 16. I'm going to double up on this. This is the street bet. A line bet is two streets together, basically. So that'll be my next bet. So I'm, I'm looking at the roulette tool uh, to see what's not yet hit in terms of streets. The 13 street. 16, I've covered that street because it has hit 17 and 18 recently. 35, there you go. There's my hit. Boom. Street. That's another win. So a six line would be... Um, uh, well, let's just do this. 40 pence on that one. I'm going to do the same street, uh, six line again. Let's do 60 pence on it. Oh, I missed the 60 on that one. I'm doing a six line bet now. Six line. So you've got six numbers covered. Or a double street. 13 to 18. 31 to 36. Number three. Boo. Bottom row we've already had. I'm going to repeat the bet. Add a chip. We'll add two more chips here. So I've got... 12 numbers covered, 13 to 18 and 31 to 36. I'm looking for the six line to hit. So I'm betting on 13 to 5, well 13 to 18 because we've got four numbers in that range that I have yet to hit. Two numbers that have been out recently, which could come back in. And the 31 to 36 is my next mixture of misses and hits. Cold and hot, basically. So it should hit um, any minute. Should hit one of these any minute. Um, so the reason it is going to hit one of these any minute is because of the history of numbers. They tell a story. Every all the the last twelve numbers. In fact, the last five numbers tell more more of a story than the last twelve. But this tells me it's going to either be a number that's already been out, like seventeen or eighteen recently, or it's going to be a cold number which hasn't yet hit with the yellow circle on. I think that was a dodgy spin. Um, I'll go up a little bit more. I'm not going to give it any more spins after this. That six line, if it doesn't hit on this spin, because I think that should have been a winning spin. If it doesn't hit on this spin, uh, I think this should be close. I think it's going to be 13 or 36 that hits. 13, 36 or... 34, 17, or even 15, 32. Three sets of numbers there. 15, 32, 17, 34, 32. There you go. Boom. So that's a tick. So I've got my six line bet now. That's good news. So just now all, all I need now is to do the even, the black, the odd, um, high, second dozen, third, top, and middle. And these are all going to be small bets now, like 20p stakes on the dozens and the rows, and 10 pence on the um, the even money bets, and that's it. So this is kind of plain sailing from this position. So I'm probably going to get about um, £1.20 out of, out of this. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to cover, I'm going to bet high. I'm just going to jump straight in on the highs here. It was low, so I'm going to go opposite. So I'm going to stick on 19 to 36 until it hits 19 to 36 now. So I'm starting at 10 pence because that's all I'm, I'm this bet's worth only 10 pence. This type of bet's only worth 10 pence in my book. Every day of the week. Any outside, any even money bets worth fuck all, basically. So don't only spend fuck all on it. The reason for that is because they can go missing for an absolute age. And if you've not got, got a bankroll to, so, you know, to, to support that, you will lose. It will happen. It's nuts. It's ridiculous. It's stupid how this operates. So 20 pence bet. 
this is probably going to hit now, I think. Because we've had a 1 and then a 2. Oh, it's, we've got the 3. Look at that. Who would have thought it? 1, 2, 3, yeah. Mm, interesting. Double up again. Right. Definitely going to get a hit now. So it's either going to be, if it doesn't hit, it's going to be 0. Or it's going to be 4. If it misses, it'll be 0 or 4 if I miss. I could put a bit out there on 0. I nearly did it. I should have done. 0 or 4 if I lose. Otherwise, this is a winning spin. That's my th that's my thought process. 0, 4 or a win. Thirty-four. That'll do. That's my win. Thank you very much. Second dozen. We can jump on the second dozen because that's now highlighted. Thank you very much indeed. Now it might hit number seventeen from thirty-four. Thirty-four usually goes back close to thirty-four on most tables. To be fair, it either goes close to thirty-four or it shoots across towards to eighteen neighbor. Twenty six that is a miss, so I'll repeat the bet and add a chip. There you go. So I'm doing the second dozen. Now I've got many more to go at now. Number 10. Oh, look, it's another miss. Surprise, surprise. We only give it four bets, though. We're limiting how much we play, place out there bet-wise because we don't want to get carried away, fall into that tra trap of um, the casino luring you into further into spending money that you don't want to spend where you get to that point of no return, which the casinos know that that's going to happen. So... And then you just go in, all in and you just blow your dough. You don't do that. Avoid that at all costs. There's the hit. 14. Give it a tick. And then click 14. Watch. So now we just need to get another three, six, six more bets. Um, we're going to go odd now because um, with these even money bets, you can jump. I jump in on these pretty fast. I don't think about it too much. Four misses in a row for the odds. So I'm going to jump in on that, the odd. To hit 10 pence that's it because i'm only spending 10 pence um to get well i'm only looking to make 10 pence out of it i can just jump in and just not too much thought given to it to be fair there you go there's a hit Bosh. so now i need to do even red sorry even black um third top and middle we're going to jump straight on the top. We're going to go there now. It's on a value of five. If I reduce it down to five, you'll see why I've done the top. And I've jumped in now because um, I think it's going to hit now. So I'm not too sure which number it's going to be, though. Four. No, it's not hit. It's number four. We're going to repeat the bet. Add a chip. So we're going to continue i jumped in a little bit early there because i thought it was going to hit on a value of five um sometimes it hits on five when i'm waiting for a value of six to arrive it hits on the five so i wanted to i'm not it's not actually done that yet so that's why i jumped into a little bit early there um because i've had 67 spins and i've not yet seen it happen so that's what i was looking out for as well any top row number 28 is a miss. We've got a dealer change. Now, everybody knows I love a zero neighbours on a dealer change. I'm going to cover that zero with 10 pence just in case it decides to drop in. But only on this, well, I'll actually, I'll do it for 
two spins. So basically, we only give it four bets total on any dozen or any roll. And if it's not hit, we sack it off and we move on to another bet. So we're looking for any top row number or zero. Might be zero neighbors because of the dealer change. 13 is not a hit. This is the final bet for um, the top row. This is the fourth bet now. Looking for 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, or 36. I've got a £72.70. And I need to get an even bet, an even number to drop in, a black number to drop in, middle, top, and third dozen. So I'm on the top row at the minute. Four. Well, that's that four, doesn't it? That was the final bet for that top row. So now we just forget about the top row. And we'll do we'll do a black because it's on black now, isn't it? So we'll do a black number. And we'll play ten pence on it. So I'm gonna to switch to a black number. I know it's got a re a string of blacks already. Fair enough. Not bothered if it has or it hasn't. As long as as long as um it hits black again, we're we're laughing, we're cooking. It'll be red or green. Oh look, it's red, what a shame. <laughs> and it's hit the top row. But you know what? I'm not bothered. Middle. We'll switch to the middle now then. Middle for diddle, because that's not yet highlighted until now. So this is this is not highlighted for, for ages. So uh should I go a bit bigger on that? Because it's not highlighted for a while. Yeah, we'll go up forty pence on that. In fact, fifty pence. Oh fuck. Well, I was gonna do fifty pence, keep it easy. So I'm on the middle now to hit. This is probably going to hit straight away, I think. Twenty nine. There you go. It's hit straight away. Thought it might. And the ball stopped dead there, like it was sort of glued to it, which is a little bit odd in my book. But there you go. Right. Let's go for an even number. So let's get this even one sorted. So we've got quite a few odds. Is it the odds not counting? Not even. Hang on. No, two evens. Not had two even evens for two spins, that's right. That's what I'm doing. Lost focus there for a second. So I'm on the even an even number to drop in. Ta da! There you go. Tick that box. Eighteen. So where are we going now? So we've got black. We've got third and top. Third dozen and top row. Let's just jump in on the third dozen straight away here. 20 pence. So I'm just jumping straight in here. So it's just hit one spin ago on 29. So we're going for the third dozen, even though it's only on a value of one. So I'm not waiting for it to highlight. I'm just jumping straight in. 25 to 36. 36? 19. So, repeat the bet. Add a chip. So, we only give it four bets again on any dozen or any roll. And I've took a £46.20 up to 72 90 so far, which is rather good. And I've got three more bets to try and tick off here. 25 to 36, come on. Number 5, look at this, it's all low numbers. No high numbers, but this is my third bet. I've only got one more bet to give this uh, third dozen. Get this third dozen to hit. And then I'll switch to the black numbers at 10 pence. And then what I'll do is I'll probably go a bit higher on the stakes. Last two uh, bet types. Yeah, last two bets I'll do um, higher stakes. Slightly higher, but not too much. So third dozen, 25, 36. I mean, look at that. That was manipulation to fuck. That's what really pisses me off. When it's an obvious pocket push like that, that's naughty. So it, it, pushed, it pushed the ball out of the pocket just to run on. 
It does a pocket push all the time. It pushes the ball out the pocket to run on. It does it a lot of the time. This is... The ball's under some kind of manipulation. I don't know what it is. But it's fucking shocking, that's for sure. I don't know if there's little holes in that it blows it out and it moves it on. Maybe it's little tiny holes you can't see. Could be that. You never know. It would make sense because if in, the holes are in the corner and it blows, it, it sort of... Well, see that? That's a hit, but fuck me, that was shocking. The way the ball j leapt into the pocket, it's just, it's just not right. It's fucking shocking. It's ridiculous. I'm going to do all, go on bet on black now. Try and get another hit on black. Um, so top um, is the next bet I'm going to be doing after this hits. So I'm going to play until this black hits. This is probably going to hit again another black number, I think. I think it could be 13 or 11. Nope. It's another black number. So we've got the hit, which is good. Not next to that one. So this is the top row now. So should I just jump straight in on the top row, 50p? Let's go for it. There you go. So I'm on the top row, 50p. I'm going to try and play this out until it hits. So it's a 50p start instead of a, 10, uh, instead of a 20 pence. So I've gone a little bit bigger on it. I'm not waiting for it to highlight. I'm just going to jump straight in. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, or 36. Look at that. What's that all about? See that? Where the ball traced to the number 11? See? And some people think it's not manipulated. Fucking hell. Some people. Wow. Um, it has to be manipulated. The ball can't react like that without being under some kind of duress, some kind of extra fucking uh, move, movement, manoeuvre. It's just not right. It's just not physics. It doesn't work like that. It's, just, it's, back, it's backwards. It's not right. So therefore, you know, it has to be. It's money. Anything to do with money, anything to do with money, right, it's all rigged. It's all fucking set up. Everything. Everything in life to do with money, it's all fucking rigged. Remember that. Because that anything to do with sports betting especially. Fucking hell. Whose turn is it is it to win? You know, they're putting on the show, they're putting on what would look good, what would bring in more punters. That's what they're looking to do. What's more exciting to see? What's exciting? What'll bring in all the punters? That's what they're that's what they're doing. Anyways. Top roll to hit. This might hit, I think. 22. No. It's hitting all the numbers that haven't yet hit for a while. But not the number that I want. So we want to see 12, 15, 24, 36. Any of those four numbers. That would be pretty sweet. So I'm going to continue playing this until I get my hit. I'm, gonna, I'm only going to give it a few more spins though. Because this is my fourth bet now. Because my fourth bet will be my stop if it misses. So if I want to carry on I would give it an extra two chips. If this misses, and if that misses, an extra three chips. 15? No. Yep. Yeah. 21. There you go. Boom. I'll have that. That's a win. Sweet. Now I've got all, everything ticked off. I've got £75 exactly. Fantastic. Let me just update that. Um, give you a count on this. 75 minus 46.2. So I've just made £28.80. Um, the previous recording, I made £23.10. So I've made um, £55, exactly, so far. £55 profit today doing this setup. I used two different roulette tools. I used the missing section on this recording, and I used the RPS tool on the previous one. I hope you enjoyed the content. Thanks for tuning in. See you again soon.